Hi, this is a quick three minute video on this. Hi, this is the third video in the series where we're looking at five difficult questions. Please do stop the video, have a go at each of the questions and then compare your solutions. Or you can go through to 3 Minute Maths and download the worksheet uh, in its entirety. In the previous video we completed through to question number two. In this video we're going to start with question number three. OK, so here we are on question number three, and we've got quite a lot of information there about the flight of a, an aeroplane. In total, it says, however, the flight lasted two hours. And what we're being asked to do is work out the value of x. Well, basically, the value of x is going to be this plus this, which is going to equal to 2. So really, it's going to be a case then of solving for x. So what we end up with is going to be 731 over x plus 287 over x minus 24. And that all equals 2. OK, so a little bit tricky, but what we're going to do is treat it like a normal adding together two fractions in that we have to make sure the denominator is the same. OK, so what I'm going to say is, well, the denominator for both sides is going to be x minus 24. So 731 multiplied by x minus 24 all divided by x times x minus 24. And the denominator for the right-hand side is going to be exactly the same, x times x minus 24, but I have to multiply the right-hand fraction by x. So that's going to give me 287 multiplied by x, and that's divided by, again, x times x minus 24. And that all equals two. OK, so let's just tidy this up a little bit. Well, I'm going to expand the numerators and I'm also going to expand the denominator. And what I what I get is 731 X minus quite a big number here. One seven five four four plus two hundred and eighty seven X. And that's all divided by X squared minus twenty four X equals 2. OK, now at this point, I think you can you can probably see that the numbers are really quite big, but keep going because hopefully at the end they're all going to work out for us. OK, so I'm going to tie this up a little bit and that's going to give me 1018x minus 17544. Now, what I'm going to do is cross multiply. So in other words, if you can imagine this is 2 over 1, so I've multiplied that and I'm going to multiply that. And that's going to give me equal to 2x squared minus 48 x. OK, so when I make this all equal to 0, I'm going to get 2x squared, make it positive, minus 1066x plus 17544, all equals 0. Now you'll notice that all of the um, coefficients are positive numbers, therefore I can divide through by 2, and I get this quite difficult equation, x squared minus 533x plus 8 seven seven two equals zero okay now at this point um, really the only way of uh, solving this is going to be using the quadratic formula and I totally get it you can try factorizing it it does actually factorize out but you'd have to be really really good with mental arithmetic to be able to sort this one out so my suggestion is just use the quadratic formula which is going to be x equals, in this particular case, I've got minus b, so it's going to be minus, minus 533, three, and that's plus or minus the square root of, and again, pretty awful numbers, but just keep going at it, F minus 533 three squared, minus 4 times 1, multiplied by 8, 772, all divided by 2 times 1. OK, so I'm going to get two values. And when I've worked all of this out, I actually get two values, one of which is a value of x equals 516, and another value of 
x equals 17. So the actual answer to the question is going to be 516. Now the reason that is, if we go back to the beginning, what we've been trying to do is work out the value of x, which is effectively the speed. Okay, so um, we've got two values. We've either got x equals 516 or x equals 17. Well, it has to be 516 because what that would mean then, if it wasn't then this value here would be 17 take away 24 which would be minus 7 miles per hour okay so in this particular question the value of x is going to be 5 1 six okay i hope that's been helpful for you a little bit of a tricky one please do stop the video work through it again and see if you get a similar sort of solution particularly that uh, quadratic formula at the end there is quite hard to solve but with calculator you should be okay with it hope it's been useful please do add a comment i'll look forward to seeing you inside the next video Okay, so I hope the video is useful. Please do add a comment below if you're not sure about anything. I'll always come back to you. Subscribe to the channel. I'll look forward to seeing you inside the next video.